local news. This is Local 11 News at 5. New tonight is the third largest dairy producing state in the country. The Idaho Dairymen's Association calls for federal legislation to create a legal workforce on Idaho's dairies. With a closer look, here's Jess Knight. The Idaho Dairymen's Association, or IDA, issued a labor shortage petition caused by the national conversation surrounding immigration reform. So we think it's in the best interest of the country to provide legal status. And legal status is an amnesty, and legal status is not citizenship, but legal status for those workers who are already here. The petition calls for a visa program for dairy farm workers. The programs that are in place, like the H-2A program, don't work for dairy. They really don't work for other agriculture as well. They're too cumbersome. There's a backlog through the government to get people through. And then they're here for a limited time period. And dairy and feedlots and other businesses need workers here 365 days a year. So we need some sort of program that can allow those workers to come in and work and fill that need. The Idaho Dairymen's Association estimates that up to 90% of labor on dairy farms is foreign born. The U.S. Department of Labor states that across the agricultural industry, about 40 to 70% of those laborers do not have legal status. If you look at specifically the Magic Valley, um, our foreign born labor, both in food processing and on dairies and in agriculture, for us it's both Latino immigrants and it's also refugees. Refugees have uh, started to fill an important void for production agriculture and in our plants to, to where they also have those jobs. With Idaho's 3% unemployment rate, the president of the Twin Falls County Farm Bureau, Elizabeth Coates, told me it's hard for dairies to find workers. These are good jobs, and we just aren't able to find American-born workers to do the jobs, and that's why immigration reform is so important. Just Knight. KMVT Local 11 News. Now the IDA asked people to fill out the petition by the end of February. The goal is to get 10,000 signatures, then they'll send it on to Washington, D.C.